welcome back to my channel or if you are new here my name is brianna and i make health beauty and lifestyle videos to inspire and motivate women like myself we've constantly seen these videos on youtube but i highly doubt i highly doubt that y'all will hear some of the stuff that i'm about to say in these other videos okay so let's not even waste time here is the first section which is talking about washing So in reality, you are not really supposed to use soap on your V, on your hoo-ha, whatever you want to call it. The soaps that are called feminine washes are for the labia, which is the outside of the vagina, the skin that is right outside. And even when washing that, you still have to be careful with how you do it. You don't want to be too aggressive and accidentally get something in there. I usually use water in that area, but if I want to use a feminine wash, then the product that I use is called Jasmine Fem Wash by Sexual Essentials. I talked about this product before in my black owned business haul, I believe, hygiene haul, but yes, this is the wash that I would use. It has chamomile, aloe water, and apple cider vinegar. And we have all probably heard that apple cider vinegar is good for your pH. It says on the bottle that it is to balance your pH, combat odor, and BV. There's another company called The Honey Pot, which you have probably heard of already by now. And they have a similar type of feminine wash that are supposed to do the same things. That's all I have for this part because it's so simple. You are not supposed to use soap on your vagina. Use water if you need to you know go in with a washcloth and some water and cleanse it out then do that but do not use soap in your vagina or don't use any of the douches or whatever the summer's eve and all that no for this section i'm going to be talking about supplements and diet so there are certain supplements that you can take in order to prevent things like yeast infections utis common issues with the vagina. One product that is a staple in my supplement collection is this, which is a probiotic with prebiotics and cranberry. I usually get these at Rite Aid, but they also have them at Walmart. They might be a little cheaper at Rite Aid though. Before I took anything, it would be like the week before my period or like if I went an extra week without getting waxed, um, I would experience yeast infections. And then I started taking these and I have not gotten one since. So I will not stop taking them because yeast infections are not fun and they are very uncomfortable. But as you can see, um, it's almost empty. I take these every day. Another good thing about these is that they have cranberry in them and cranberry is known to help with UTIs. Keeping your urinary tract intact and also cranberry is known to make you sweeter so that's always a plus so in addition to taking these i also try to drink cranberry juice when i can you can also take a cap full of actual apple cider vinegar or now they have the capsules that you can take or the goalie gummies i don't know how effective those are but i just know that they're popular i've never taken them personally but you can take one of those apple cider vinegar supplements in order to balance your pH as well. There are also other supplements that will target the taste of your V and those include fenugreek, which I believe they have other benefits as well. And there is a supplement that you can buy called taste and it literally makes you taste like fruit. I've never taken it myself, so I don't know, but that's what they say. I will have those linked below in the description box but in terms of your general diet like i said you can drink cranberry juice you can eat citrus fruits um, watermelon is another thing that they say will make you taste better drinking more water is so important drinking more water because it will flush everything that doesn't need to be in you out and it will just make your body more balanced overall so water is important but you can also drink the famous cranberry juice and pineapple juice concoction in order to taste and smell better. For the last section of this video, I will be talking about secrets that they don't tell you because I haven't heard anybody talk about these things except for me. When I tell my friends about it, 
So the first thing that I am sharing with you guys is something called Yoni Oil. Gina Yoni Oil. I know that there's a lot of products out here to target, um, you know, smelling better and preventing yeast infections and things like that. This is also by Sexual Essentials and I heard of her on a podcast called Cocktails. So you take the dropper and you, you drop the oil on your actual V and then you put it inside and you leave it in there and you leave it in the surrounding area for up to eight hours no longer than eight hours and then you wash it off wipe it off and it's supposed to make you smell like water i'm not gonna say i smell like water but i have a pleasant smell just being honest and um this probably contributed to it when i used it even more but the reason why i really used it was again for my yeast infections so whenever i would feel like a yeast infection was coming i would um use this oil as i went to sleep so i would put it on right before i go to sleep go to sleep and then wake up and take a shower and it prevented the yeast infection from happening if you really want to smell better then this is a great product to use it smells very strong it smells like it smells like oregano but it definitely works okay another secret and this has nothing to do with actually smelling or tasting better but it will contribute to other things that you definitely want in terms of sexual activity um, and it's called she orgasms she orgasms this is like my maybe fourth or fifth bottle i kept them just to show people that i actually use it and it works and it's amazing hopefully i can get a sponsorship with her one day but um she also has other products she also has this rum honey tincture i keep looking at myself in the sorry y'all she also has this rum honey tincture which is like the liquid version of she orgasms i'll show y'all the actual too so with these I'll just read it off the bottle it's a female supplement for sexual enhancement it enhances orgasm intensity increases vaginal lubrication heightens total body arousal and sensitivity enhances energy focus and mood and increases libido and desire so with these you want to take like I mean, you can start off by taking like two and just to see how it works for you because everybody will break down the product differently. I've taken like four at a time. You can take up to four at a time. If you take four, I'm just warning you, you're going to probably get hot. It makes you hot. I don't know. Like literally like hot. I don't know. But yeah, it, it works. It works but when you take it you have to drink a lot of water you have to drink a lot of water or it's not gonna work the way that it's supposed to she has a website she has a blog she has so many success stories so many um, not success stories but like uh, customer reviews and they tell their experiences and they're amazing I can't guarantee that it works for you from for sure but personal experience I use these um, I don't take them every day I take them really when I want to if I feel like it's a need for it or I just want to enhance an experience but yes they definitely are the move and a secret that I have not heard anybody else talk about on YouTube <music> Some other bonus tips are putting apple cider vinegar in your bath water and of course wearing cotton underwear. All of my underwear, like even the Victoria's Secret underwear that I have, it's cotton lined. Like it might be pretty, it might be a thong, but it's still cotton so I don't have any issues with that. Also when I'm coming off of my period I have panty liners just to make sure that um, I'm still protected, but I don't have to be wearing a full pad. 
and some women wear panty liners on a daily basis just for general discharge and in terms of a better appearance you can also do things like vajayshals using the clay mask you can use witch hazel for a toner get waxed I have been waxing for years I will never go back and then I also use sweet almond oil to moisturize those are all the tips that I have today to make your V smell better be fresher taste better be more moisturized if you will <laughs> y'all know what I mean and just be clean and a happy place overall I hope that you guys take my tips and use them and let me know how it goes or let me know if you have any tips thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and i will see y'all in the next video